Jiu-Jitsu Diagnostic. I'm back. So, uh, outside Ashi for Figueredo. Dangerous unless you have the bite on the heel hook already, which he does not. So, what that leads to is a very easy exposure towards the back uh, because the legs are threaded to the outside. And you're going to start to see that there is no bite on the heel hook, on the heel. And so that gives direct exposure. Go right to the back, but you can see he, uh, Figueredo turns, overturns, and goes into a turtle position here. And I think there was a moment where he could have continued to turn for that rolling knee bar, but at this point, too much pressure to roll. Uh, so, extracts that knee and attacking the turtle for Albazi. And I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Slides the knee up and he's going to insert that near side knee for that near side hook. And Albazi does something cool. He's going to actually take his other free leg and uh, create flexion on that near leg. And he's going to be able to step that hook freely from there. Flares it to the outside and gets that hook. Now hovers on the far hip but doesn't have the hook here. Albazi is going to light him up with some strikes. Break him down to a hip. Now this bottom hook is just blocked by a knee. Some danger. And in the meantime he's fighting up top. And... He uh, needs to make sure that this bottom hook goes over to prevent any step over. So you'll see even with this over, he's going to break him back down to the other side. And then steps this bottom hook wide and away to prevent the hips from going over. And then starting to turn towards Albazi. As he does that, he's able to keep him in place and locks the body triangle with the hook and at this point this choke is starting to get deep and is forced to tap. <laughs> 